Is it the, the coach? Is it the is it catcher Bell White oh, behind there? Probably the catcher, I think. And this is grounded to home, and you see exactly what you're talking about. Throw to first, and she tries to get two, and that just gets away. This might score a runner. They'll hold off, so it was by the book play. A little ground to Morgan Mello. Gets the runner out at home with Bell White, but a play over at first. Just a drop catch there. Throw a little off the mark, and that scores a run, and it's a one nothing ball game, and runners on, on first and third. And Jordan Bl Lambert here with a full count to lead off the game here, and Jordan is a fun player to watch. He's just 22 years old and one of those young players that you hope has a presence on this team for a while, and she makes good contact with this one. This is going to try to find a gap in a great diving play. My goodness. Coming in from right field. How about that from Kara Schultz? Or sorry, sorry, from left was, yeah, Kara Schultz coming in there from right field, making the catch a fantastic effort right there. And this pitch is low and away. Patient at the plate. Good throw over to second. Did she get the tag down? Oh, and she calls yes. her out. Bell White showing off the kid in there, and a nice play by Jordan Lambert mm. to grab that down. How about that bang bang play? Uh, well, uh, it's what happens with the arm of Bell White. Uh, uh, Sturt uh, club mate was the runner, and uh, she should have been that alert. When you're pitching here, would you consider ever just walking? Uh, yeah, like fill them up. Yes, yeah, you could, but uh, she lays down the bunt, squeeze. and this is going to be a play over at first, and she's safe. The most exciting play in softball or baseball, it's the squeeze, and then she just barely slid in there in time, and it's a 1-1 ball game, and a perfect squeeze there from Bell White, who gets to first, no damage done, runner on first and third, and it's a 1-1 ball game. And she's looking pretty smug with herself pulled up there at first, uh, as you would be, because it was an excellent execution of that squeeze play. It's yeah. just, you can't, you just can't factor in and Picard throws this down and take a second and they're going to score a run. So they really good job there by the Stars trying to catch a sort of a younger All-Stars team offside right there. They throw, was that an intentional play too? You throw it over to second and you have the yeah, runner on yeah. third just waiting for that throw to take catch the steal. Yep. Yeah. Fly ball can score them and defensively what are you looking for? This well, is a dangerous position. I think it's I think it's a Oh. This is smoked right at the middle. That's going to score a run and tie up this ball game. Excellent hit from Jamie, from Jamie Mead. You were asking what you're looking for. You're looking for a base hit. Any of the situation too, just like mm. here, you got runner on second, so a hit would do worlds right here. And a throw over to first, and that's going to double him up for two. How about that? That was. You were talking about that a bit earlier in the broadcast. Now sometimes you can have a ball that just falls in the wrong place at the wrong time, yeah. and that was lined right to first. And we have a runner at second. That looks like Sophie King from here. And a runner at first. And a runner at first. So how is this for a situation? She gets the ground ball. Throw to second. Can't she get oh. the throw to first? And she has got her. How about double. that? A double play from Jade Peterson on the first pitch. You couldn't draw it up any better. She'll be thinking this game's easy. I mean, how is that for a bit of a, a nasty situation in left field? Could be the angle we're sitting on, too. And this is hit hard, and, and it's just outside shot. of Lambert's uh, reach there. That's going to score a run run. So it's Mayday over here as Courtney May drives in a run, and she's given the All-Stars a lead. It's 3-2. to two. Yeah, You wouldn't think the final set, that is. Yeah, Walkerville and Sturt battling really up top right now. This is grounded over to second. Good throw over there from Chelsea Robinson. Throw over to first, trying to double him up. Bobbled there by Bell, and that's going to score a run. Excellent base running there by Faith Picard to slide in there and touch home plate. It's a 4-2 ball game just like that. You got a youngster, Kara Schultz, contact scores the run. That's all you got to try to do. Just don't strike out, and that's exactly what she did. <laughs> and this is hit hard. This is to right field, and this is going to get over the outfielder, and this is going to rattle up against the wall. Runner rounding second. She's a chance to do some damage here. She's going to make a turn from home. She's going to go and try to score, diving in at the plate. Does she get around her? She's safe. It is a home run. Inside the park home run for Terrific Jamie Mead. Scores a run as well. It's a 6-2 ball game. How about that? That was fantastic running, but a fantastic hit. Ada Brinkertree is as quick as there is out there at right field, but she couldn't get in anywhere near to catching that ball, and she just had to chase it to the fence. And that and was absolutely in. smoked as well down to right field. Now what's fantastic about this was rounding third. She took a good, powerful lead around third. On the third, Steph Collette's going to shortstop, and Jasmine Lee's going from third to first, and the rest remains the same.
So Monica Perry with a tough ask here. Here's a bunt, throw down to first. Bell's gonna tag her out easily. Throw over to second, trying to double dip right here. Runner's gonna be out from third as Maddie Scott is tagged out. They tried to get the bunt down there and it was just a good play for Monica to get in there and she was out by quite a while there. Good job there from Bell to lay down the tag and that takes a lot of words. Beautiful complex they've really developed here but it's a 6-2 lead and we got our runner starting on second. And up. Rachel Tonkin. Yeah, Rachel Tonkin and uh, bobbled over there in left and it's gonna be a run scored here as Maddie Scott scores all the way from second on a bit of a misplay right there and just like that the run is extended, it's 7-2. What I was saying before, Eric, uh, you'd be surprised what happens in the game. <laughs> Softball. Well, Chops right here. She's got her own fan club in the in the grandstands behind us. Yeah. And this is hit down the line. This is going to be ruled foul. It rattled. Off. No, it's ruled fair. No, it's ruled foul. It's a bit of confusion out there. So it's hit the base. They're calling it fair. I think it was called foul. It was called fair, then foul. So a bit of confusion amongst the umpires. But they're going to call it a run there. So it's hit the base. we got a runner standing on second. So it's going to make it a 7-3 ball game. Well, to maybe if you know, know sacrifice bunts. But, you know, really only allowing a couple natural runs, so to speak. And there's a swing and a miss. And that is going to end the ball game.